This is it. This is what? If I take one more step, it'll be the farthest away from home I've ever been. Remember what Bilbo used to say? It's a dangerous business, Frodo. Going out your door, you step onto the road, and if you don't keep your feet, there's no knowing where you might be swept off to. Hi, I'm Kristen with The Art of Narrative. Today we're talking about the eight character archetypes of the hero's journey. For those of you who don't know the hero's journey, it's a story structure made famous by author Joseph Campbell. I'm sure we'll do a separate video on the hero's journey in the future, but I'll also link an article about the structure on our website, theartofnarrative.com. Find that link in the comments below. For now, all you need to know is that the hero's journey is a very common story structure with some very specific plot points and very specific character types. Today, we're talking about the characters. There are eight character archetypes in the hero's journey, and they are the hero, the mentor, the ally, the herald, the trickster, the shapeshifter, the guardian, and the shadow. Eight. Let's get started with the first character archetype. Arch Let's get started with the first character archetype, the hero. Go, Web, go! As the name implies, the main character of the hero's journey is called the hero. Who would have guessed, right? The hero in a hero's journey is the label we apply to this story's protagonist. The character won't begin the story as a hero. The hero starts their journey as an average person, not very heroic, and may struggle with negative traits, like an oversized ego or a naive worldview. The point is, the hero starts their journey as a normal person living an ordinary life. The structure will send our hero on a dangerous and exciting journey. The hero hesitates to begin this journey because it means leaving their normal life behind. Eventually, this character leaves their ordinary world and becomes transformed by the events of their journey. The hero's journey is the story of a regular person becoming a hero through tragedy and triumph. The hero doesn't travel on their own though. They begin their journey with a guide that offers the hero knowledge and advice. We call this character the mentor. Wax on, wax off, breathe. In through nose, out the mouth. Wax on, wax off. Don't forget to breathe. Very important. Wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. Hey, where these cars come from? Wax on. Detroit! Wax off. The mentor is a catalyst in the hero's journey. They get the hero moving. As I mentioned, the hero does not want to leave their ordinary life. A mentor is a person who has been to the extraordinary world and offers the hero help navigating that world. The mentor may also give the hero specific tools or resources that help the hero learn and protect themselves during their journey. An essential aspect of the mentor's character is that they will not accompany the hero on their entire journey. The mentor will either die or leave the story in some other way. This departure is because whatever conflict the hero faces, they must overcome this without the help of the mentor. That is really important. Mentors often have magical abilities or fantastic technology, and mentors can come in all shapes and sizes from Mary Poppins to Morpheus in the Matrix. Sometimes mentors are even people. The mentor could be a computer program, an ancient text, 
or a giant floating head. The main thing to remember is that mentors help our hero in their journey, much like our next archetype, the ally. Come on, Mr. Frodo. I can't carry it for you, but I can carry you. Come on! An ally is a friendly character who joins the hero to help them on their journey. Allies might have a specific skill set that helps our hero in meaningful ways. Usually the hero couldn't complete their journey without specific help from an ally. For instance, Han Solo is an expert pilot and smuggles Luke to his destination. Luke could not do this alone. He's constantly getting beat up in the first movie. Allies also act as moral support for your hero. An example of a character who isn't great in battle but gives a killer pep talk is Samwise from Lord of the Rings. Without Samwise, the brave Frodo would never make it to Mordor. He would end up dead or worse. Allies also have independent motivations and story arcs. These characters' primary role is to support the hero. Still, a good ally will experience growth and go off on their own adventures. Now let's talk about a role that both the mentor or an ally can also fill, the Herald. Together, we could be unstoppable. Anything would be ours for the taking. All that you know is at an end. Wait, I said wait! The Herald is a character that calls the hero to adventure. The Herald will either cause or signal the story's inciting event. Because this role is so small in the larger story, our characters, like allies, will often double as a Herald. Or the Herald could be an agent of the story's villain. This character may only appear once in the plot. Evie Trinket in the Hunger Games series is the clearest example of a Herald. With Heralds, we get into characters who don't always have the hero's best interest in mind. Some characters are meant to challenge the hero, like the trickster. And I thought my jokes were bad. A trickster is a character who brings humor to a story while subtly highlighting specific themes. A trickster will question the accepted logic of the world around them. This character is not content with the status quo and will bring attention to injustice. They may also be unfortunate, lazy, clumsy, drunk, or chaotic. The purpose of the trickster is to upset the established order. Let's look at the Joker from 2008's The Dark Knight. Although he is the story's primary villain, the Joker is also the perfect example of a trickster character. He is darkly funny and aligned against the established law in order of Gotham City. Tricksters can double as villains like in the case of the Joker or Loki in the Marvel Universe, but they can also be sympathetic characters allied with the hero. The trickster's main role is to reveal truths other characters are unwilling to acknowledge. Tricksters may be a friend or foe of the hero, but some characters can be both. We call this archetype the shapeshifter. Meow. A shapeshifter keeps a plot interesting by shifting their loyalties one or more times throughout narrative. This character may start as an enemy, but switch allegiances and help the hero at a crucial moment. Or the character will begin as a friend and betray your hero during a climax. Not a very good friend, in my opinion. Once the shapeshifter has switched sides, they may decide to reverse course and return to their former role as either friend or foe. 
If you're looking for the perfect example of a hero and shapeshifter dynamic, think Batman and Catwoman. Sure, Catwoman will help Batman when their interests align, but sometimes she's got a diamond to steal or a mobster to beat up, and Batman is simply in her way. Shapeshifters exist to keep the audience guessing, but there are other characters whose motivation is clear. Guardians exist to challenge heroes and block their entry into the special world. <laughs> He doesn't like you. I'm sorry. I don't like you either. I'll be careful. You'll be dead! These characters are also called Threshold Guardians and guard the boundary of the ordinary and extraordinary worlds. They often block the path and test your hero's mettle before they can move on in their adventure. Guardians may present puzzles or riddles for your hero to solve, or just want to fight your hero. These guardians also signal to your reader and hero that the danger lies ahead. Because the extraordinary world may be exciting, but it is not for the faint of heart. Examples of threshold guardians include the ring wraiths from Lord of the Rings. Hair-raising hooded figures who seek out the ring and stalk our hero hobbits Frodo and Samwise. And finally, we've reached the counterpoint to our hero, the shadow. Yes, precious false. They will cheat you, hurt you, lie. Master's my friend. You don't have any friends. Nobody likes you. Not listening. Not listening. You're a liar. Go away. <laughs> the shadow is your hero's main antagonist. We call this character the shadow because they often mirror your hero somehow. A shadow character will share specific characteristics with your hero. This person represents a dark fate your hero could fall into if they're not careful. Think about the similarities between a character like Frodo Baggins and his shadow, Schmeagol. Schmeagol was once a hobbit like Frodo. And like Frodo, fate delivered to Schmeagol the one ring of power. Schmeagol is corrupted by the ring and becomes the dark and tormented Gollum. Schmeagol, Frodo's dark shadow, represents the dreadful fate that awaits Frodo if he succumbs to the ring's power. Other classic shadows include Darth Vader, a shadow of his son Luke, or Voldemort to Harry Potter. Each of these characters represents the corrupt potential that exists in all heroes. Okay, that is all eight archetypes of the hero's journey. If you learned something from this video and want to see more in the future, please hit the like button or subscribe to our channel. All right, thank you for joining us. And if you learned anything new, come back later. I don't know. All right, talk soon.